Something that I think is kind of funny now as I look at my life is that I didn't really ever think I would become an artist. And really, um, you know, my background consisted of no really visual art experiences. Um, my parents didn't ever take us to museums. We didn't have art around the house. And so I came into learning about art um, really only about five years ago in kind of my mid to late 20s. And um, you know, my background has, out, growing up, I was always kind of a math and science kid, and I love sports. I still love sports. I'm super competitive. Um, and so in some ways, the art world is still kind of a, a mystery to me, but I think that that's exactly what I like about it, too. I began thinking in terms of the object kind of more as sculpture rather than a functional form. And um, really, then, it just kind of, things just started to click. I, th I started thinking about how the object exists in space and how it's presented in space and how it relates to all the other things around it. And so I think that I really became kind of intrigued by installation work, site-specific work, land-based work, and really just the impact of environment on, on an object. This being the tin shop, I really thought, well, you know, what can I do with tin? And I realized um, in the very little time I had to repair, I probably couldn't do much. And so I chose to work with aluminum. And um, I went to Home Depot, which is like the greatest art supply store ever, and uh, got some rolls of aluminum flashing, which is used for usually roofing. But it's a great material to work with. Um, the rolls are malleable, yet hold their shape. Um, I, I just brought all these rolls thinking, gosh, I should be able to do something with this. And then I also have some wire, which is actually used in um, construction, usually to um, wrap around rebar. And um, so I really wanted to think about my work kind of more in terms of drawing and kind of sculptural drawing with these materials.